Dilo, what's poppin'? We are on Twitch. We are not live. But you can leave a like and a comment. Subscribe, turn on your post notification bells. Man, let's continue to grow the family from Chicago to the UK. Um, if we do go live and you happen to miss it, this is where highlights and things of that nature will be. Don't forget, we do got merch here. Get me, you got mine on. <laughs> and we got the Patreon. We post Monday through Friday, five days a week. That's the stuff we can't watch on YouTube, or if we thought we could upload it to YouTube and turns out we couldn't, goes here. <laughs> Don't forget, all of that is in the description of this video. Just click the link tree and it'll all pop up. This is Homeless and Poverty and Destitute Seaside Town. I'm surprised I could read that word. I'll be surprising myself sometimes. Get me. This is Window, man. Shout out, Window. I thought I was subscribed already. Well, whatever. Turn on my post notification bells. All. Because I actually like bro content, man. He go around giving the voice to the people that normally don't have a voice. And, you know, and while giving us a tour and educating us. This is salutable content. Salute to Window. And remember, if you don't want me on, if you don't want me reacting to your content, just shoot me a message. Just go to my video and type a mess like a comment, and I'll take it down. Simple as that. You ain't gotta be extra. <laughs> Welcome to Grimsby, Grimsby, a town where the locals are referred to as codheads. Who? Now this is. A once bustling. Wait, what type of here? Fishing port on the northeast coast that has suffered from terrible post industrial decline. So, all the industrial cities are going down here in the UK and around the world, period. Yikes. Oh my. We're going to walk around the town today. We're going to walk. Are there buildings that are not dilapidated? Another word of the day. Look around all sorts of areas, the town centre, the outer areas and the port, and we're going to see what life is like for the locals in this incredibly impoverished part of the UK. Grimsby is shocking. And why is it shocking? Because no one even no one's bothering with it and no one wants to improve it has that been since the decline of the fishing industries in, yes, in the 70s made, yeah, it's, yeah well since since the docks are gone it's and they called it an ignorant backward shithole okay it might be an ignorant backward shithole but it's our ignorant backward shithole yeah so you're born and bred yeah, yeah. i'm born and bred and I'm, i've moved away and come back what about like employment opportunities oh, and right, things employment's it's, terrible at yeah least. i mean arthur's got criminal records as well yeah so it's really hard for us to Go for an interview, mm. say 300 times, and then say no at the end of it. I would say 60 to 70 percent of the shops are boarded up, yeah. all the businesses, the buildings. So I'm saying, man, it seems like a lot of these people, like this town, depended on tourism, and like, but since the decline of the docks, like the docks closed up, like nothing was left. Like once that money froze up, tourism froze up. People turn to crime, got records, can't get a job. It's like a, like a, like a, it's a trap, basically. You can't get out of a never-ending trap. And he talking about, I moved back. Bro, you was on the right path when you moved away, it sounds like. You down Freeman Street, yeah. You go Freeman Street, man. When I was a kid, every single one of them shops was open. I've never seen such a proliferation of closed shops oh, yeah. anywhere I've been. Yeah. I was told that like East Marsh yeah, is a pretty deprived neighbourhood yeah. as well. well. It was on the telly a, a while ago, some MP, and they reckon East Marsh is one of the top 10 most deprived places for investment in I, Britain. I read it was the second well, most second, deprived I know it was in, ward. Yeah, I know it was in yeah. the top 10. Where class is the Western world at? Like if you come, like somebody like me, if I come over there and invest in a town like this, I'm taking a grave chance. <laughs> Like I'm taking, it. even though it's like probably you can get property for cheap, but like, what are you gonna do with that property? Like, nobody got no money. It ain't that the, the town just don't got no money. Nobody in the town got money. It seems. We're supposed to be up there. Uh, we look after everyone and all that lot. But I say bloody charity starts at, at home, home first. Yeah. Yeah. You yeah. help myself so I can. And I'm not saying I got money to invest. I'm just saying. 
Hypothetically. Help the refugees or other people coming in first, you know what I mean? He, this lad here is homeless, you know what I mean? Mm. All oh, through the frigging government. Mm. Mm, they yeah. sanctioned him 200 quid the other day because yes, he missed an appointment. 205 quid because I missed an appointment. How long have you been on the streets? Why'd you miss the appointment? Uh, you know, a couple of months now, but uh, it's like mad as fuck. The, um, you're on that universal <coughs> credit, you get 320 quid a month. I went to the bank one day, they paid me £5.82 for the month. Yeah. But they didn't give me £5.82 in one payment, they gave me two payments to £2.92. Yeah. Yeah. Joking. Wow. So I, I ain't six quid for the month. But no, they ain't do bro like that. Not giving you it all at once, they gave you two payments of two ninety two. They were taking a PISS, and they, they, they were pulling your hairs. They were trying to push your buttons at that point. But I could only get fucking three quid of it. £2.92, the and then a fortnight, £2.92 later. But I had to borrow eight pence out of me mate's fucking copper jar to go to the post office to get the eight, the three quid coins. That's what I got sitting there. It was just before Christmas, that was. That was my payment before Christmas. Well, the reason why we've gone through crime, uh, done crime and stuff like that, because we haven't got money and stuff like that, it's circumstantial. Like, any, anywhere you go in the world, like, the, the main reason people commit petty crimes is because they're pushed into a situation yeah, where yeah. they have to do it. Yeah. Like, you're not, you're not going to become a millionaire by doing little petty yeah. things. You don't see nobody with money or making ends meet going out here committing crime? Like, for what? I'm decent. I got enough to get by. Yeah, these people have not enough to get by. Pickle it is on our yeah, side of the yeah, life. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's disgusting. We've got brains on us. You know, I just can tell. give us a chance. I, I immediately, when I sit down with people, like, yeah. you, you, like, I hate that people are judged by their situation. Like, the moment you sit down with someone, like, it, it's just it's just a roll of the dice, really. Yeah. You know? yeah. No it's one like, can choose where they're born. No, no one can choose where no. their family exactly, ties yeah. are. Yeah. It's like I've been to it's prison, true. but... I did something wrong in my life, but Took it doesn't mean to say I, I'm, I'm bad for the rest of my life. No. You know what I mean? I was, it was circumstantial. And if we can't reform our societies, then yeah. then there's no hope, is there? You yeah, know what right, I mean? Right. Like, people can reform, people yeah, can right. get better. Mm. Yeah. I mean, I'm trying to reform myself now. You know, it's bloody slow going, right? But, you know, I'm, I'm on GPS bloody tagged by being oh, in prison. Do you know what I mean? This is GPS. How long have you been <laughs> on for? Possibly a year. Yeah. You know what I mean? This. It's not a tag system where you come out of prison and you get a few months off off your sentence. Yeah. But um, I was in for burglary, but it was a stupid burglary. I, I come out of prison last time. I was scratching the street, yeah. Got yeah. done for the fray. And then uh, I went to prison for eight months, come out, and they left me homeless on the fray. And then uh, I went to prison for eight... What are they passing over there? That might be a little problem, a piece of the problem as well. Whatever, I don't know what y'all passing exactly, but it looked like something paraphernalia likey, likeish. Eight months, come out, and they left me homeless. Yeah. I was roaming the streets for about eleven days. Wait, what is he talking about? I was in for burglary, but it was a stupid burglary. I I come out of prison last time. Scratching the street, yeah. Got yeah. done for the fray, and then uh, I went to prison for eight months. Come out, and they left me homeless. Yeah. I was roaming the streets for. About 11 days. They drug to society. What was the point of that story, though? No, no, t somebody help me out. What, what, like, what point was he trying to get at? I went to jail for eight months, and then I came out, and I was homeless. But I went in because of a burglary I did. I shouldn't have did it. It was kind of stupid. What are, what are, we, what are we saying right now? What, are we, what was the point of the story? Because the point of the, it sounds like you did something stupid, went to jail, and because of your actions, you came out and you were homeless. Now, you did go for burglary, like you said, like a petty crime because you... But you had a home. I don't know. Hey, where the fuck is that's on the front line protecting all... Streets for about 11 days. They're drugs to society. Where the fuck is that's on the front line protecting all these fucking do yeah, where the born with the silver spoon. Yeah, where the pawn, where the fodder. Know what I mean? And just because I'm, you might be homeless or you might be, someone's got an addiction or anything doesn't make the person a wrong one. No. Just because he's got an addiction. What's Grimsby like in 2023? Shit all. Why do you say honestly, that? Honestly, there's no clue. No opportunity? Yeah, no opportunity. No jobs? No, and, uh, I mean, even the food bank where we're going to now, when we're homeless, there's uh, the gear, half eaten bags of crisp and you know yeah. what I mean, so. Apart from six months of last year that I've spent in jail, I've been like, homeless for two years, last two years.
You may wonder, how did Grimsby end up this way? From its height of success, when it once was home to the largest fishing fleet in the world in the 1950s to the present day. Well, we have to look. Is this a dock right here behind him? Ain't the water supposed to be a little bit higher? Wait, okay, maybe it's the time of year the sea level is low or whatever you call it. Squarely at the Cod Wars, incredibly vitriolic industrial disputes between the UK. Oh, this man got knowledge. He not just doing no video, he got, see, this is why I like him though. Okay, and Iceland, and they were between the 50s and 70s. I think they ended the last one in 1978. And the UK had to recede fishing waters. Consequently, fishing companies pulled out of Grimsby which was the main employer in the town, that led to the social decline that we can now see all around us in this town today. And that decline... I'm not even gonna lie, Grimsley does not look like a place where I would want to go visit. Like the way like it's set up, like I might as well stay on the west side of Chicago if I wanted to see this type of behavior. You know what I mean? It was dramatic. A highly skilled workforce in a one industry town, reliant upon that industry to feed its society. But that industry had set sail. This mistake is costing him. Yo, bro, hey, I'm telling y'all, he's actually put some thought and purpose behind these videos. It's not just let me go out and record when I can, and hopefully I get lucky with views. No, no, no. It's looking real deserving. So, so much is said about post-industrial decline in the US in cities like Detroit, but you've got huge buildings in the uh, former, once the biggest fishing fleet in the world here in Grimsby, just decaying, crumbling in front of our very eyes. What a sad sight. You can see why there's so much deprivation in this town. So how much of the um, fishing industry is left here now? Not a lot. How many companies are still operating fishing from the port here? No fishing boat comes on here, in here. Yeah. So Young, Young's are one of the companies that well, still process fish here. They're closing one of the factories. And has this all been on decline since the mid-70s, since the Cod Wars? It has. So what's your name, mate? Anthony Nelson. Anthony, yeah. And are you on the streets? Yeah. Are you living on the streets? Yeah. yeah. And I've what? Got, I've got, well, I went, went to jail on my man for something I didn't do for two months and then yeah. Got to court and there's no case to be held and they just released me into nothingness. Yeah. No no release grant, didn't even give me my clothes, my, the money I had in me and, and the thing is it's all still there, I can't and I can't get down, let's get it, so yeah. and you just get out into this, into into no support. Yeah. And uh, how long have you been on the streets like this now? Um it's been on and off for years. Yeah. Um but uh this time it's been about been about four months now. This is no joke folks. Look at the state of some of these buildings. I'm not trying to take like poke or anybody but like I feel like some people like not all of course like there's some group of homeless people that just take and latch on to whatever's going on in current events and that's the reason why they're homeless for the time being like right now it's X and when Z happens it'll be because Z while you're homeless instead of you know just I mean I know circumstances like play a big role in this but I think some people just don't they don't care they enjoy it they love living skint. Look at the state of the old pub, the Albion. Elegant lighting. For who? In this town, for who? Who got an elegant house? I've never seen such decline. Everywhere I've been, this is shocking. Grimsby has shocked me. Is this what you think of when you think of Britain? A developed Western nation? The post-industrial decline is shocking. It's not what I think of. What I think of when I think of Britain is tea. Um, a very cultured environment. Um, I think of uh, an up-and-coming great hip-hop music industry. Um, I think of Mm, some good food, some mid-level food, some disgusting food. Um, and I think of accents. There's a lot more I'll be thinking of too, but you know. Welcome to East Marsh, 
which is one of the most deprived wards in the entire country, in the entire UK. And definitely, from the people I've spoken to, one of the roughest parts of Grimsby, which is already... Just my, you know, if you happen to watch this video, my, my one little... All your titles, make them tech capital letters. That's all. That thing else is great. Incredibly impoverished. So I'm just having a little wander around the streets here to see what life is like in the poorest part of this already incredibly poor seaside town. Hey, so you don't you don't be you don't be thinking you're gonna get robbed at all walking around like this? Or you 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 a you a black belt at something. I'm just curious. You know a lot of people wouldn't expose themselves to the possibility of what could happen in a deprived town walking around with a nice camera or whatever. I'm just curious. Is this what you think of when you think of the UK folks, especially if you're from overseas? These ramshackle streets where most people are living on benefits. These Isn't this expensive? This thing right here? This ramshackle streets where most people are living on benefits, struggling to get by one step, maybe one week away, or even less from homelessness. I'm sure that there are, not everybody in East Marsh is struggling. I'm sure that the sense of community is really good because I've met some really open, warm people since I've been in Grimsby. But you can definitely tell that this is an impoverished area. So what's East Marsh like? Um, well. I've read that it's the second most destitute poverty stricken ward in the UK. Yeah. Um what's life like you live on the streets well. here? What's life like in East Marsh? I mean it's like you say quite a rough area. Um but the people are so down to earth on here. Yeah, well. I will They're say that like, yeah. everyone that I've bumped into yeah. I feel like in, in a town like this all you got is really people and camaraderie and like a sense of community. Because imagine like a town being poor and desolate, whatever the des destitution and then having terrible people too like no, nobody would want to do nothing for nobody Grimsby incredibly open incredibly warm yeah. and it's I'm telling you hard times be building character so sad to me that like they're, they're kind of used to the, like the destitution yeah like I've never seen in the UK and I do this in all sorts of different seaside towns yeah. I've never seen so many boarded up shops yeah but I've spoke to the locals about it and they're almost used to it yeah it's just a norm around here yeah, yeah. like well, like you see graffiti everywhere, but everyone just gets on with it and it's normal, so. And is it dangerous in this area? Or yeah. is it is it just poor? I mean, obviously you get your odd incident, what's <laughs> knives and everything else, but really it's the same as everywhere else. Even you get it in Cleethorpe's 10 minutes down the road and that's meant to be nicer, but it's just the same everywhere. It's boarded up everywhere, but it's, it's just normal. As you can see, folks, like everyone I've bumped into has been incredibly open and friendly. It is such a shame. It's just so, it's almost criminal that these really warm northern, you know, big hearted towns are suffering this fate. And the people are used to it. They're used to everything being broken. Massive estates. It's crazy because the people that are supposed to help that you will reach out for for help are like kind of giving like the cold shoulder to them. Like, oh man, we're tired of it. We don't know who from who or who's trying to help, who's trying to get over or who's trying to actually get help. So we're just going to give the cold shoulder and turn a blind eye to everybody's problems. We don't care. It's full of empty, boarded up shops. I wonder how much it is for like rent there. Curious. Do you know what's the saddest thing about it to me is I go to a lot of towns around the country, seaside towns, and the ones that are struggling, they're not very welcoming. The people here are the most open, yeah. warm people I've met oh, yeah, yeah. in well, any you, of these you, towns. No, you, you can get some really bad ones. Oh, yeah. So I've been lucky, I've bumped into all the good people. Yeah, there's a lot of drugs around as well. Well, that, that's everywhere now. Yeah, well, yeah. 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 But the old buildings, they just don't seem to want to keep them, look after them. Yeah. Like on the docks, they could do so much. I mean, if you yeah. look at hull docks, They've changed everything. It's a buzzing place now, but yeah. here, there's nothing. It's such a shame. 
Yeah. yeah. So this is nice. Cleethorpes, which is next door to Grimsby, but kind of all has uh, grown into the same place now. No, 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 no. This, this looks completely different. <laughs> this looks a little bit nicer. And Cleethorpes is seen as the poshest part of the area. See the people, what I'm saying? Yeah, this looks a little bit nicer. And Grimsby tell me that Cleethorpes is the posher part of Grimsby, but it's not. No. The bottom same area, you just get more people in summertime. But in the meantime, it's just like Grimsby. Yeah. So what's life like in Cleethorpes in 2023? Tough. Tough. <laughs> but from that, people are just like, shit. People have told me that Cleethorpes is the, like, the posher part of the area. Yeah. Um, yeah. Less boarded up shops, but still quite a lot. So I'm telling you, like, for homeless people, like, people who are down and out, like, it's all the same. <laughs> but he's like got a job so it's a little, little posh but is Cleethorpes a slightly um, better place to live than Groomsby do you think uh, yes yeah it is it is better yeah people more friendly I'd say yeah. like this way so what's your name my friend yeah uh, Anthony Anthony and yeah. are you on the streets here in Cleethorpes yeah man yeah and how yeah. long have you been on the streets yeah about two years now two about, years yeah man yeah and um, what's life like on the streets in Cleethorpes do you know it's not too bad in Cleethorpes but it's not great, mate. We're only in a tent, so we're only getting a BNB &B about every three, four days from that so tent, so we're only getting a BNB &B about every three, four days from that so A B and bed and breakfast? Oh okay. yeah, to have a wash and yeah, get a good night's sleep. Yeah, it's the only time we can feel normal, do you know what I mean? But it's a lot safer than Grimsby. It's a lot quieter. It is, mate. Do you know I don't really go to Grimsby much because yeah, it costs for that reason. Yeah, I can understand why, if somebody thinks about it properly, if they are yeah, on the streets, yeah. they would come over this side, yeah, because yeah. it's um, it's definitely a lot quieter environment. Yeah, yeah, yeah. it is, mate. Yeah. So I bumped into this lady in the local pub in Cleethorpes. Everyone I spoke to in Grimsby yesterday, they said that Cleethorpes is the posher part of the area, like a bit more going for it, less boarded up shops, certainly less boarded up shops in Grimsby, but that's not hard. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. What, what's, what's the general vibe in the area? Um, I don't know, I've lived in both areas, I think they're both pretty much the same, I think it, it's... So, so far it's like 50-50, he's asked four people and it's like an even split. Probably getting a bit less up here than it used to be. Really, yeah? If I'm honest. In yeah. what way? Um, just a lot more crime going on, a lot more crap. It is still a nice place to live, if that makes sense. Yeah, I think the people make the oh, place yeah, more than anything. That, especially some, in a place like this, if you'd have come in an hour or so, It'd have been filled with locals, yeah. wasn't it? It's um, pretty early. Everyone yeah, knows everyone. Pub. You yeah, can come in here and yeah. Yeah, cheap pub but a good pub, I can tell. You can come in yeah, on your own and you end up with friends. Yeah. What's the pub called? Teddy's, Teddy's Bar. Teddy's there you go. Bar. Teddy's Bar in the heart of Cleethorpes. Karaoke. Oh my god. To see British born people do karaoke would probably be hilarious. If we could get like a just like a compilation of UK of UK, um... What's a pub called? Teddy's, Teddy's Bar. There you go. Of UK karaoke, that would be great. It's Sunday and a Friday. Another example, folks, of how warm and welcoming the locals of Grimsby and Cleethorpes are. How much is it a pint? £2.50. £2.50 a pint. 12 o'clock. In Teddy's Bar. That's crazy, because here it's like $12. Till 12 o'clock. <laughs> Till 12. In conclusion, I've never seen... What's Fantasy World? What's going on in there? A seaside town with as many boarded... It kind of looked like a, like a... Like an arcade, but maybe a, a slight stripper pole in the back or something. ...up shops and in such a sad state of decline as Grimsby. I've travelled to many seaside towns in this country and I've never seen it this bad. But in contrast, I've never met such warm, open, and friendly people as the people of Grimsby. That's why it's so sad. So the people are holding the town together. Because these people are just so warm, open, and welcoming, and yet they're living in a town. Is that the same fa she's fantasies suffering again? With so much decline. Fantasies world. People in their forties and below, they also seem to be institutionalized by the state of things here. 
since the fishing industry collapsed in the 70s. They don't really know any difference. There's not been much prosperity in the town since. So they're kind of, they're not even shocked by how things are anymore. To see high streets with 70, 80% boarded up shops and shuttered up shops, that's a normal thing to them. So folks, Grimsby, definitely the most in decline seaside town that I've visited yet. A town full of warm, welcoming, friendly locals, which is in a chronic state of decline. Not gonna lie, I seen somewhere in Liverpool that was fairly close. <laughs> but nah, this this takes the cake for sure. Yeah. W outro, man. Shout out to um, this guy, man. Window. Salute, man. TLO, leave a like, comment, subscribe, turn on your post, man. Go follow his channel as well.